Panjim has unique heritage homes which are like a village within a city. Visitors to Fontaineas, San Tome and Mala areas are able to savor the culture and the built heritage of houses, some of which are over 100 years old. On the occasion of World Heritage Day, Herald TV took a tour of the heritage houses in the Fontaineas, San Tome and Mala areas and asked citizens what the government should do to help them maintain their houses. On the occasion of World Heritage Day, Herald TV took a tour of the heritage houses in the Fontaineas, San Tome and Mala areas and asked citizens what the government should do to help them maintain their houses. My way of looking at it as far as the maintenance of the houses in the Fontaineas, uh, San Tome and Mala area is that it would be useful for the government to come up with either a policy in which they do a simple thing, even a simple thing like painting of the houses itself goes to improve the the image of the, the residential places and uh, these houses in a way they also do contribute to the tourism economy of the state. So there is no such uh, thing that the government cannot consider investing into these, uh, into these uh, homes. All right? uh, the question of uh, how the government can also be of further use is to simplify a number of uh, policies which are linked to maintenance of uh, the thing, of uh, these heritage homes uh, or rather the functioning relating to the heritage homes. Uh, people applying to do simple uh, you know, works on their house, the applications remain held up in the conservation department for months for the absence of uh, you know meetings at the conservation uh, department to approve these things so somewhere there has to be a simplification in the meanwhile those who don't have the patience of waiting for such this thing they just go ahead and undertake uh, their the repairs or the changes and which is a very bad trend i think the government should be more sensitive to this uh, situation rather than letting things go completely out of hand before they they start, uh, you know, start uh, then intervening to say, oh no, the heritage is just vanishing. So this is my view on heritage. I own Kalkitaria, which is situated at the Portuguese colony in Kantanesh. Uh, well, the difficulties we face is because we are in the lanes, it's difficult to get uh, manpower, materials, to materialize our things, and everything is uh, you know, in a, we are kept under control, like you know, we can't change the structures and there are a lot of tourists walking in. So I feel if government could help us a little bit, you know, by helping us maintain, which he did now, by painting our, uh, you know, houses and all that. I mean, especially the houses which are out in the lanes. So I feel if a little bit of help is provided, it would be really great, especially for a person like me. I am handling my business on my own and I'm a woman, so single handedly so I would like the government to help me. Thank you. I think government has been giving for like sort of a painting or something. They do keep, but uh, I think people do approach them. And they they do have, but I don't I don't find anybody who's poor here. All are well to do. All are well to do, and I think they maintain for themselves their own house. And the rest taken care by the government <laughs> or the municipality. Or the but the government is also a next council. It's quite old. Clinton D'Souza and Sagun Gaude for Herald TV.